Why hello there, and welcome to War Thunder, the dev server to be specific, the 1.45 dev server. Now if it sounds weird or something seems off, it's because I'm in a hotel room at the moment. I'm traveling home, and tonight I'm staying in a hotel in Georgia, so if it sounds a little weird, I apologize. I'll listen back to it, make sure it's okay. But the dev server brought a couple new vehicles. We have the M3 Lee and the M2 Medium. Now, all of these are first impressions. I found out the dev server was online after I got out of my exam at like 11. Dev server closed at 12.30, but I needed to be like packing. So I really only got on and played two or three games tops, and then I had to go uh, get ready to leave. So I wasn't able to do some things I wanted to, like for example test out tanks that I already own. But uh, I did try and do some of the new premiums, but I kept getting put into games where it was just me versus a whole bunch of plain AIs. So you can imagine what that turned into. But anyway, this was a very full game I got in the M3 Lee, and then the M2 Medium, and then the, uh, the Stewart. Not the reserve one, the other one. I forgot his name already. But the Lee... Okay, against the competition I see on the dev server, basically other American tanks, the Lee is pretty solid. Alright, don't come into the... Don't come into here thinking the Lee is going to be this really shitty tank like it is in World of Tanks. No, the, the Lee actually... I think it's pretty good. I liked it. You know? I didn't see anything wrong with it. I think the key thing is is that the turret mounted 37mm actually works. And it's sort of your primary gun. The secondary gun is that, like, 75, I think it is, uh, gun in the front of the hull. That's, that's kind of like your, your big punch, but you also have a machine gun, two machine guns, and this 37, which actually does pretty good job on tanks. Quick rate of fire, turret turns very fast, and when you get that larger caliber gun on things, it just blows them up. So I actually really, really like the Lee so far. It's easily my favorite tank on the dev server. And I think you're going to see why eventually, not right, not the moment. Well, kind of right now. Now I'm going to start taking hits from behind, which you know, is an issue. Lee actually has decent armor for uh, the tanks I'm seeing here. And it's... the turret mounted 37mm is huge. Right, if I think... I think if the World of Tanks M3 Lee had that turret mounted 37, I think it would be better. It certainly makes a different on, difference on the... Uh, the, on the Lee and War Thunder. I mean, that guy, I didn't have to turn the tank to engage him. I just turned my little turret. You know, it's not a huge deal. The 75 or 76 or... God, I really should know the caliber of it. Doesn't... I mean, it's... I think if, if I can hotkey the switching the sights to that gun and the 37, then I think it could be really, really useful. But at the moment, it's only useful at close range for me. But oh my god, there's tons of tanks here. I shoot the... I fire the 75 and the 37 into the... The, uh... S, SDK. Turn the 37mm, kill that guy. And now I'm pushing forward to kill this guy. I don't think there's many tanks where that's possible. Right? I think it's just about only the Lee that has enough punch to knock out a Russian heavy tank from the side. You know, on reliably on one hit. I mean, well, obviously other guns can, but... I mean, it was just, boom, two shots into his side. Got the assist for him. Turned the turret, boom, I got, you know, killed this guy with the 37 that had already reloaded. It's just a potent tank. Alright, so I guess the message you should take from this Lee gameplay is that... Don't judge, don't judge it based on... The world of tanks, Lee. It's very, very different, and I think you'll enjoy it. But in terms of changes to uh, the dev server, the only real thing we have is the addition of these two new tanks. Other than that, I don't know why this guy was like breaking his transmission on me, but other than that, 
I think the only difference is that the other maps are in the rotation. So, for example, uh, Jungle, whereas before it was only the two new maps. Now, T-34 seem to be a little bit of an issue for this tank, but I also think this is before... No, no, okay, I do have the upgrade ammunition. T-34s might be a little bit of an issue for it from the front, but I'll need to test that more. That's honestly the only T-34 I've run into. So now we're switching to the M2, which is very similar to the reserve tank. Matter of fact, I would say it's basically the same machine, other than the fact that the turret looks a little different. It has weird antenna machine guns that you can't use. A little weird. But these are the two new tanks on the dev server. The Lee, I think, is pretty good. This tank is, I mean, it's just as good as the other, as the Stewart variants, I think. It's the the Reserve Stewart, I think, in this one and, and this and the M2 Medium are comparable. The Lee and the second Stewart variant, I think that's not called the M3 too. But those two are a little bit different. The the unlocked Stewart, it has machine guns, and I, I think it's it's obviously better. I think it's a, excuse me better than the reserve tank. But it, but obviously all this needs further testing, right? And I don't know if I'll be able to get on the dev server again until after I get back uh, from the from the cruise. So. Hopefully I can get Phil to be on top of that and try and just bring you some gameplay just the newer tanks that are coming out. When I get back, I'll take a more in-depth look. But anyway, this battle was really chaotic. If you, if you haven't been able to tell, it's kind of just like stuff was happening just all day long. And I guess it is indicative of, I guess rank one games where things are just kind of happening all the time. Tanks are in really weird spots. Like, for example, this guy over here who randomly appeared. You know, I didn't expect him to be there, that's for sure. I will say, though, the addition of machine guns to some tanks is actually really useful. And you do have to watch out, though, with your machine guns. You can suffer friendly fire with that. <laughs> But I think it'll be, I'm, I'm interested to see if the American tanks, if all of them have used the machine guns, or only some of them, or which ones have machine guns, things like that. I think that'd be, I think it'll be interesting to see how the tanks with machine guns do versus the tanks who don't have machine guns. I wonder if that'll make a serious uh, consequence in terms of playing those other tanks. Will having a machine gun be a factor I have to consider when reviewing a tank. Is it uh, important enough to sway my opinion on a tank whether or not it has a machine gun? I don't know. Could be. That was just unfortunate. My I probably could have bounced this shot, but it I, you know I unangled the front. I like scooted down, and you can see it there, and it just penetrated, which is going to happen. But I mean, we were all going to get bombed anyway. So it's fine. So what can I report from the 1.45 dev server part 2? Uh, the Lee is pretty good. The other one, you know, is fine. The M2 medium is fine. In terms of other changes, haven't really seen any. I mean, other than the fact that we're on... I never got jungle when I played the first iteration. I only ever got Eastern Front and White, White Fortress or whatever it's called. In this one, I think I got, I got Jungle, I got Eastern Front, and then I tried to play a premium Sherman game, the Russian premium Sherman, but I was on a team just full of AI. It was like four AI planes plus me versus five AI planes. You can imagine how much fun that was. And then I tried the same thing, and that was on Ash River, and then... I tried the same thing in the uh, Tiger P, and that resulted in the same thing just on Eastern Front rather than Ash River. So, a little annoying. And I am—I did hit this little guy, but 
yeah, I get shot down. I think it was more so that I clipped my own wing off, but the machine guns can be effective against uh, planes. That is true. So I hope you guys have been able to get on the dev server as well. I, I wish they would let out a more uh, a schedule of when it's up, a more readily avail available schedule. And so like they say, you know, hey, in two days we're going to up the dev server. We're going to turn on the dev server. I think that'd be good. Because right now I just have no idea when it's on, when it's not. And a lot of times the first way I find out is by uh, checking my email, reading a comment and saying, oh, the dev server's up. Oh, my God. You know. It's actually how I found out today. Phil told me that uh, he read a comment that said the dev server was up. I was like, oh my god, I gotta go look. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you're just as excited as I am for American Tanks. Hopefully next time the dev server come up, comes up and I'm around, I'll be able to do some things that I, didn't, I couldn't do. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. I've been Courtney Swiss. I'll see you next time.